Let's briefly run through functions and some related definitions. A function is simply a rule that takes numbers in a set X, which we call the domain of the function, and uniquely assigns them to numbers in another set Y. And this set Y is called the codomain. But every single function we look at in this course is going to have the same codomain, the set of all real numbers. So you don't really have to worry about that. It could be you were expecting a different word here. The range is a little different though. The range of a function is all of the numbers in Y that are actually mapped to. So for example, the squaring function, the function that takes an input and squares it. This has as its domain all of the real numbers. You can take any real number and square it. It has as its codomain all of the real numbers, just because we've made that statement that that will always be our codomain. But it has as its range the non-negative numbers, because any number squared is non-negative. So the domain is mapped to the range which is contained in this bigger set to the codomain. This is pretty ugly notation. Let's remind ourselves of how we write functions down. Our notation is the name of the function, then the input in parentheses, then whatever we're doing to the input. So looking at this as our example, if we give this squaring function a name, f for example, and we give the input a name, the most common name for an input is X. Then what are we doing to this input? We are squaring it. And now if we have some input that we're interested interested in, say we're interested in knowing what this function does to five. Well, this input appears here and it appears here. So if your input is five, you replace your input over here with five and your input over here with five. And that gives you the output. When five is your input, 25 is your output. You can have inputs other than numbers. For example, a very important definition of this in this course involves a function that has X plus H 
as it's in a pot. Well, you deal with this exactly the way you dealt with this simpler input. The input in parentheses gets replaced with x plus h. And then when the input appears again over here, it gets replaced with x plus h. So our output is x plus h squared, which we could then foil, hopefully without too much difficulty. One final definition, and it's related to this definition. This is the definition for the natural domain. If your function is given by f of x equals some mathematical expression, the natural domain of the function is the set of all of the inputs such that the output the input gives you exists and is a real number. As an example of the difference between the domain and the natural domain, Look at a word problem. Say that the area of a circle is A of R equals pi R squared. I mean, I say, say that. It's, it's a true statement. What's the domain of this function? Well, the inputs have to be positive, right? Because the inputs are radii and you can't have a negative radius. However, the natural domain is all of the real numbers. You can take any real number, square it, multiply by pi, and get a real number back again. So when we're looking at the natural domain, the only question we're asking is, is this defined and is it real? We're not asking questions about whether it makes sense in the context of the word problem.